Hello and welcome to Pseudocode. In this video, we are going to talk about five books for learning low-level system design. I know that I have promised you guys a series on low-level design and I am working on it. I'm still trying to figure out all the pain points where people find it difficult to learn LLD theory as well as implementation and hence it is taking me some time to come up with a course and design so that it fulfills those pain points and makes it easier for you to learn LLD. But until then, I thought that I will share some resources with you and the books on LLD. So at least if any of you are preparing for any interviews, you can get a head start or at least you have some resources at your disposal so that you can start learning on your own. So let's get started. So I have selected five books, even if you do a Google search, you will get some of these books uh, as recommended ones. But I have tried to put these five books in an order in which you should refer or learn from these books. And I have also tried to cover what each of these books cover or focus on in terms of content as well as how you can use it in order to build your understanding of LLD step by step. So let's start with the very first book. It's called Object Oriented Thought Process by Matt Westfield. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So if you uh, do not have uh, much idea about object oriented design or if you're just a beginner, you're, you're a fresher and you do not still understand the difference between class and object, maybe this is the right book to start with because it covers in detail what actually is an object, what is a class, how you define and design a class, what are the boundaries. Then it uh, shows some examples and then further deals on uh, deals on with some of the design patterns and then finally ends with solid principles. But the majority of the book is is focused on uh, making you understand how classes and objects are designed and developed and what do they mean and basics and fundamentals of object oriented principles. So this is the best book to start with whenever you are planning to uh, study low level design. The second book that you can move on to in order to understand the overview of different design patterns and the categorization of different design patterns used in low level design is the famous book of four. The name of the book is Design Patterns, Elements of Reus Reusable Object Oriented Software. But this book is popular as the book of four because it is written by four different authors. The name of those all authors are given here. This book starts with a, a case study of designing a document editor and then it uh, delves deep into different categorization of patterns like uh, structural patterns, behavioral patterns, creational patterns, etc. This is a good book for you to understand how the implementation of different patterns can be used in order to design something like a document editor. And also you can understand the different categorization of patterns and how those are divided into different problem sets and how particular use cases can uh, be mapped to what kind of pattern you have to use. So this is, uh, it indeed is not a short book, it's around 400 pages. But uh, in order to get a good understanding of patterns, theory as well as implementation wise, this is a good book. Okay. The third book is another one of the popular uh, recommended book. It's called Headfirst Design Patterns. It is written by Eric Freeman and Elizabeth Robson. And this book dives into the details of so many patterns. And with each pattern, it solves one or two problems and also tries to give you the solution for those problems. So for example, it will cover different patterns like observer, factory, facade, adapter, singleton, patterns of patterns, template pattern and, and so many more. But also with every pattern, it will try to solve one or two problems uh, in real world scenario like designing a pizza store or designing a weather station. It will pick such problems, it will implement that design pattern in order to solve that problem. Then it will also give you some exercises to solve uh, such LLD problems using the design patterns that they have explained. And also the book includes the solutions to those problems. If you have a lot of time and if you want to dedicate say 2-3 months completely to LLD and you want to go and solve a lot of problems, this is the best book to go for. Just that, that in order to study this book or read from this book, you would uh, want to have some basic understanding of Java and some basic understanding of object-oriented principles. If you do not have that, you can always refer to the first book that I have recommended in this series. Now, maybe you are uh, 
little bit experienced you have three or four years of software engineering experience and you might have already read these books or you just want to you know up your game a little bit you want to skill up a little bit then the fourth book that i recommend for better coding practices and better lld uh, or design coding design practices i would recommend the book clean code by author uh, robert c martin uh, he is also uh, very popularly known as uncle bob and if you still don't know about him maybe uh, go and look him up and read about him he has has so many books and he is uh, a good educator he talks a lot about how to write a, a clean code and how the good practices of building good software and software reuse etc just check his profile out and uh, read uh, maybe read some articles and and the books that he has written but for low level design this book clean code is recommended by many of my seniors as well this is a good book it talks about the right way of writing code like variable naming function naming boundaries unit testing etc so let's say that you are now able to design classes you are able to solve uh, low level design problems you can write code for a parking lot if you are at that level then how do you write the code which is clean and extensible and reusable so that it becomes production quality code and others can contribute to it if you want to write such kind of code if you want to level up in that sense then this is a good book to go after once you are comfortable with designing low level problems and writing code for them in order to improve that code this book can complement your skills and the last book that i want to recommend uh, for any anybody to read once you are uh, well versed with lld uh, is called uh, head first object oriented analysis and design now this is not a book that you would uh, need just for cracking your interviews but this is a book which you would rather need when you are working as a software engineer or a senior software engineer because this book defines how in real real world the problems are solved how the requirements are gathered what are the real problems that software engineers and consultants face when they are building software there are a lot of changes coming in some the software has to be flexible you have to write the code for customer so this book book talks about all those design principles and practices that you as a software engineer can use in order to build good software products which are extensible which are easily manageable and also uh, which are useful for the end user so this is this book actually defines that whole process and as a software engineer when you will go to work in any of the companies and when you rise to to a little bit uh, senior level say 4 5 years then you just don't have to uh, build classes and write code you might also architecture the whole application and when that scenario comes you have to be well versed with uh, uml diagrams class diagrams you should know how to write documentation for that or how to design that whole uh, application or service following the object oriented principle so this book will be very helpful for guiding you to do exactly that if you are already good with writing uh, code and you have been doing it for last 5 6 years then this uh, book would, would be good for skilling up and leveling up when it comes to uh, service design or architecture design of sub, such real world problems and software delivery and working in a, in large teams so how do how do you write manageable and maintainable code so this can be a good book in in that case let me know the feedback about these books if you read any of these books if you have already read uh, any of these books and if you want to share your opinion please feel free to do, uh, do so i have shared these five books but that does not mean that in order to learn lld or in order to crack any lld interview you would have to read all five of these right you uh, maybe a combination of one or two would be sufficient maybe just one or two books which focus on design patterns may be sufficient if that's your weakness area if you're just starting maybe the object oriented thought process book and the design patterns book should be enough for you so just choose wisely uh, analyze yourself where you stand uh, in terms of the knowledge and excellence if you're just starting maybe start with the very basics understand oops and then move forward to design patterns if you are already good with oops and you are little rusty with design patterns then maybe start with the second or third book and if you are already good at all of these then maybe start with the fourth or fifth book so that you can uh, improve the way you write code and improve the way you build software I hope that this list is useful to you. If you think that there is some other book out there which I don't know about or which is very popular and should have been included in this list and I have missed it, please do share in the comments. If you have read any of the five books that I have shared and you want to share your review about the book, please do that as well. In the next video, I will tell how apart from these five books, you can uh, go about uh, learning LLD on your own uh, using some resources and some steps that I have created for you. So See you in the next video. Till then, take care.